we've been learning about inequalities and now it's time to learn how to solve an inequality but the good news is we solve inequalities exactly like we solve one-step equations so you're going to the only difference is instead of an equal sign you're going to have uh, an inequality symbol so here we have greater than or equal to but we're going to draw our line so we can separate both sides of the inequality and we still want to get our variable by itself so right now the plus four is keeping the variable from being by itself so we need to subtract four from both sides. That's gonna cancel out leaving X. Instead of an equal sign coming down, we just bring that same symbol down. And then we have seven minus four, which is three. So our solution set here is X is greater than or equal to three. Now you still want to plug it in. So you have to pick something that is greater than or equal to three. So three could work or four, let's try four. 4 plus 4 would be greater than or equal to 7. And if we tried 3, 3 plus 4 would be equal to 7. And since it has the line, that works. And then we learned how to um, graph inequalities. So we're going to be graphing our solution set. So remember that if our symbol has a line under it, um, I have that saying, if it has a line, it needs a mouth guard because it does include 3. So you're going to draw a circle at 3 and you're going to fill it in. And then remember that this looks kind of like an arrow and it's pointing that way. So you want to shade everything going that way because those are all the values that are either greater than or equal to 3. On the next problem, we see a less than symbol. And we see that a minus 6 is keeping x from being by itself. So the opposite of that would be plus 6. And we want to do that on both sides. That right there is going to cancel out, leaving just x by itself, which is our goal. Our symbol stays the same. And then we have 2 plus 6, which equals 8. So our solution set here is that x is less than 8. Um, we need to pick something less than 8. So we can't pick 8 here because 8 is not less than 8. So I'm going to pick 5. 5 is less than 8. If I did 5 minus 6, that would give me negative 1. And negative 1 is less than 2, so we know that we have the right solution set. And there's no line underneath here, so no line, no mouth guard. So we're going to draw an open circle this time because we're not including the actual number 8. And then the symbol, less than, points to the left. So we want to make sure that we shade everything going to the left on our number line because all of these are values that are less than eight. We've got two more examples to look at. So here we've got the less than or equal to symbol and we're gonna draw our line there. Right now, X isn't by itself because it's being multiplied by two. And the thing that can cancel out multiplication is division. And since it's being multiplied by two, we're gonna divide both sides by two. The multiplying and the dividing by 2 cancel each other out, leaving just x. And then we keep our less than or equal to symbol. And then 12 divided by 2 is 6. So our solution set is x is less than or equal to 6. We do have a line here, so we need a mouth guard. It's, it could be equal to 6, so we want to include that value of 6. So we color in that circle. And then the less than or equal to symbol is pointing that way. So we want to shade all of this because these are all values that are less than or equal to 6. And remember, you want to make sure that we check our answer by picking something that's less than or equal to 6. So I'm going to pick 6 because that is less than or equal to 6. If I do 2 times 6, that's going to give me 12, which works here because it says it can be equal to 12. And then we've got our last inequality here to solve, and we've got the greater than symbol. Right now, x is being divided by 5, so we want to multiply both sides by 5. Because the multiplying and dividing by 5 cancel each other out, leaving just x. Our greater than symbol comes down, and then 1 times 5 is 5. So we know x has to be greater than 5. So pick something that's greater than 5. I just go easy. Let's pick 6. 6 is greater than 5. If I do 6 divided by 5, 
I don't know exactly what that's going to be, but I know it's greater than one because that would be an improper fraction and all improper fractions are greater than one. And so it says it has to be greater than one and it is. Okay, so uh, we don't have a line under our symbol. So we're going to want to keep an open circle, no line, no mouth guard. The greater than symbol points to the right because as numbers go to the right, they're getting bigger. So we want to shade everything that's going to the right. That is how you solve and graph an inequality. Just be careful. Remember that yesterday we looked at one where X was on the right-hand side. On all of these, your X was on the left-hand side, but you may come across an inequality where the variable is on the right-hand side. So just remember that you need to flip that around completely, including flipping the symbol around in order to be able to graph that. Okay, I hope that helps.